Hello and welcome to Get Into Games On Air, a podcast about board games and the people who play them. I am always am Craig Get Into Games, aka Get Into Games, Get Into Games. And joining me as always is Mrs. Dot Get Underscore, Mrs. Underscore Get Into Games. Hi. Re- Re- oh, uh, Rebecca, I would have. I was just thinking Becky when you say the, the people who play them, mm. we really just mean us. Yeah, sometimes we have guests. Yeah. But for most of the time, we're just talking about us. True. Yeah, it's true. Hello, everyone. Hey. Getting to Games on Air, of course, is sponsored by Rent, Shuffle and Roll. Mm -hmm. If you head to rentshuffleandroll.co.uk, you can use the code GITG50 to get 50% off your first months of board game rental. Rent, Shuffle and Roll are a board game rental service based here in Old Blighty, where you can rent your favourite board games from them for a certain amount a month. Uh, you can have a wish list. You can curate that wish list and have games sent. Cole comes with a pre-packed uh, envelope and not envelope box, well. and you get sweets. More importantly, sweets. <laughs> um, and you can send That's it back, the and they'll send it back. But yes, rent board games. You don't rent the sweets. You don't have to send the sweets back. No, you can eat the sweets. You can eat the sweets. The sweets are sent as an extra. As a, I they believe. are the. They're a yeah. They're a. They're a bargain. Bargain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hello. <laughs> um, this is episode 32, Boardtober 2024. We are in the throes. We are currently, as of recording, Maybe halfway through. the 13th of October. Mm. This will be out probably on the 14th of October, mm. if my butt gets in gear. And we are, yeah, we're getting there with Boardtober. We're having lots of, fun words, lots of fun fun photographs and lots and lots of fun giveaways. For the first time ever, I have actually managed to do every single photo. Yes. For the fourth time ever, I have managed to do every single well, photo. You, you kind of have to. That is also true. That is the rule that I've imposed But we'll on talk myself. about board Toba later, shall we? We will, yes. And as always, why don't we talk about what has hit our table this so very week? We haven't podcasted for two weeks, maybe, so I need two. to go back in my little list. We need and to I go back. And I don't think I have a... Rec- so caveat i used to start every single game last year we were doing the challenge where we had to play a game every day yeah. and so i started everything yes and we did play a game every day of the year yes this year i started off with the best of intentions recording everything that we played however i've kind of gone off the boil with it like i don't feel the necessity to record every single game i think since the summer really and we had a few like big game Mm. days molly con and some big like events and we just doesn't feel as important to start it all the time i will use it if i'm using it for scoring so um it has um some good scoring yes uh, yeah the score sheets on them score sheets and so i if i'm scoring it then i'll save it but i don't always stat everything exactly. so these are not all of the games we've played in the last not two all weeks of them, no. no so we uh played um some games we played some games, some games. Played some games. i'm not stalling for time we... <laughs> We have played Terraforming Mars. We played recently, Terraforming Mars, and that was... With our new upgrades. From Tinkertown Games. The upgrades are lovely, but totally unnecessary in the game. I they make the box very heavy, because mm-hmm. they're metal. They're just solid metal, gold and I play and that game, and I'm still not totally satisfied by it. I it think it is a meth game. I think it's had some newer games that do things similar better or more interesting i think thematically it's it is what it is maybe it's better with expansions um Mm -hmm. it's fine it just doesn't it doesn't make me want to play it again and again and again we've played some so then we had um games with beanie come over so Mm -hmm. we played lots of games with them so we played sakana stack we yep. played One Ring Towers. We played Festival, which is the new Hachette game, yep. which is actually quite interesting. Puzzle. Yeah, it's quite puzzly, nice. coloured puzzle type thing. Yep. Uh, we played Takenoko Color. Played a bit of Gullible. Played some Rolling Realms. We played some more Blood on the Clock Tower. We did. We played and have, some... have you talked about Blood on the Clock Tower at? I Warwick played. Castle? I ran Blood on the Clock Tower at Warwick Castle for our good friend's a wedding. Um, it was lovely. 
Um, but yeah, to be able to play Blood on the Clock Tower in the grand hall of a dirty great castle, ah, oh, it was a, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, so such a such a venue. Um, yeah, just just epic. Uh, we played. Well, I had some friends around and we played Sound Diculous, mm-hmm. which we played on the podcast last time, which we did. was really good. Um, we've played some King of Tokyo. We just tried out today a game called Enigma, which is based um, about the... Um, it's kind the, of Enigma loosely machine. based on the the bomb, yeah, the, the Enigma machine. It's very love letter-esque. You're taking um, on a role. You have to find certain rooms and certain information um to fulfill certain objectives and then you're in the game it's quite a short game and i think you 15 be 20 minutes in, yeah, 10, yeah. 15 minutes. it's enigma beyond the code mm-hmm. is the name we've played a lot of tend a lot of tend which i am just getting to grips with craig scored some like huge 170 score odd points and yeah. i had only scored 80 but i felt like i did better than i'd ever done before so i yeah. feel like i'm getting there it's one of those games where you have to just keep playing it and um yeah you, you know you'll it takes a few and it's, there's a lot of strategies there's lots of avenues of victory and lots of things to be doing and you can't do everything mm-hmm. so you really have to put your eggs into kind of a basket kind of a basket as it were um we played a state yep a state from god games which is coming to kickstarter tuesday um so that's cool um which is a very it's a worker placement game um, it has a big castle with where you keep your meeples on. It has got like a very Everdale feel about it. Um, you're placing worker, gaining resources, using those resources, spending those resources to play cards into your tableau in front of you. Those cards that you play in front of you will have special effects. Those effects can then be used to get more points. Evidently, it's a prototype, so there's a few to teething me, things. It's like Everdale and Viticulture in one game. Yeah. So there's a few, yeah, there's a few games merged together to give you that kind of experience. I think it does take a few plays. Evidently, the prototype is a prototype. So as good as the prototype is, it's obviously not a perfect finished a article. It does have a big cobble castle. I'm not, I'm not struck on it right now. No, I think I think it needs I a think bit more of. A... We have some other games in our collection that do a similar thing better, maybe. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I'd like to play it a few more times just to to see if you know there's more to it than I'm I'm getting. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I think so if, you, th- if you like Everdale, you like Viticulture. Those and kind of estate's things. got a nice. There's a story. There's been a great war, and it's got that kind of obsessiony, mm. uh, fantasy obsessiony story to it, which has got some some interesting Game of Thronesy kind of vibes to it. We played some Chronicles of Evil. We did. We did not win. No. We got overrun by monsters. We did again. again. Yeah, we messed up. We messed up really. We did something wrong and we were too far away. Well to no, but stop. all the um all the good hexes were at too the top far away. And we didn't explore them until yeah. it was too late. That's the benefit there of it being modular though. It's always a different game. So maybe it went wrong the first so, time but And we had, were unable to build any walls for our castle, so the monsters would have just Rampage. Come in. They did. They just walked in in the door and went, hello. He did. And it's everyone. So, yeah, that's what we've been playing recently. I'm sure there are some other games that we've played, but I yeah. did not write them down. So yeah. We <laughs> yeah, we've um, played quite a few different different games. But um, but maybe... Tend is definitely the one that I think is at the minute the go-to game. Like, I want to unpick that, unpack it. and We played Dice Forge. Oh, yes, we did play Dice Forge with um, Games of Beanie and My Sharp Life. That was interesting. And it was really interesting. You gain cards, you're building your dice, so you take the faces off the dice, a bit like Kapow, um, and you build your dice and it gets better and better, and you're scoring victory points. Yeah, you're upgrading your dice. Yeah, it, it's, it was, it it's was quite interesting. It's quite a, quite an interesting thing to do. You upgrade your dice, then you roll it, and then you're based on, and how do you, how do you weight your what do you do with your dice? What ones do you upgrade to get the most points out of? It's quite an interesting game. I'd, yeah, it'd probably be one I'd like to play again. I don't know if it'd necessarily be one that I'd want to get into the collection. No, because I think we have Kapow, so... Yeah. I, f- I feel like we have a, a dice. dice forging game. Yeah. Um, 
and Kapow is a two player game and we probably prefer the IP a little bit more because it's you know superheroes battling each other yeah um, but it was a nice game to play well Dice Forge is also more than just two player whereas Kapow is yeah that's a two player game Yawning your head off. I'm only always yawning, always yawning. Well, that, that's what people wanted. To that's see. what happens when you record two podcasts. They wanted to yeah. see you yawning two your head off. Two podcasts in a row. People pay the big bucks to yes. see that. Can I clarify my thing? What thing? The thing I said I'd wanted to clarify before. If we you started. really want to clarify, so I made pointless. a comment on Meeple to Meeple. Maybe if we're a guest on that episode of, of Meeple to Meeple, you don't know that. We don't know that either. You don't know that. I don't know that. Is that a secret? I don't know. Is it? I don't think so. All right. Um, and I just need to clarify it because it's bothering me. It's bothering so me. I said, I asked a question about guests on the podcast because sometimes it's difficult to invite a guest on the podcast and show them off in the right sort of way. Is that what yeah. I want to say? Some people come across more nervous than they do in on, real on life. life than real life. And you've met these people and you're like, you know. It's going to be a great episode. They're going to be chatty. They're going to be really yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then actually podcasting is far more difficult than it looks. Mm. So it looks like you can just chat and you can just, you know, yeah. rub it on. I find it very difficult. <laughs> well, some people do. Okay. Um and you've got to keep talking, obviously, because it is an audio medium. Yes. Um, so we were talk- talking about uh, this. And I said, you, we've had some good guests and we've had some bad guests. Rubbish we haven't guests. had any bad guests. Awful what guests. I meant was... Awful ones. The that, worst. Um, sometimes it's difficult to get people across in the right way. And that's probably on us as well because you've got to ask the right questions and you've got to make the guests feel comfortable so i just wanted to clarify that because we have not had any bad guests and i would not want anybody who's been on our podcast thinking am i the bad guest because that is not the case that is bad wording on my part and uh you know but if you do think you were a bad guest no (laughs) that's not true potato potato Anyway, so hopefully that's clarified. That was a good Just clarification. I need to get that off I my really chest. like that clarification. I'm sorry. <laughs> While we're clarifying things, I'll also like to clarify that um, Trywin Games um, has just finished their fantastic uh, Kickstarter for Can't Go. The wonderful John uh, has made a cr- an incredible little game uh, where you are growing poo in toilets. It's a game of poop Not points. Poo. You are, you're growing. going, you're going, and you're... it's growing. <laughs> It's a game of poop, points, and pandemonium. But also, he has created and crafted the most wonderful book on how to grow avocados. What's the plug about? It's available on Amazon. What's the plug about, John? I don't don't know. I just was changing the subject. Oh, right. He's also painting, you know, amazing miniatures from Flashpoint Flashpoint at the moment. Learning, Mm -hmm. learning. So if you follow him on Instagram, try win games um, and mention... Uh, show us your mini um, in a comment. <laughs> He'll really appreciate that, I'm sure. So if everyone could just uh, use the term hashtag show us your mini and just comment <laughs> it on random posts or send him a direct message that just says hashtag show us your mini. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, also, his pledge manager, I think, is open. So if oh, you yeah. do want to get any last minute If you do want, he Congo. will show you his mini. <laughs> And you might be able to get a mini version of okay. Yeah, and you can get pins. Pins. That's it. That's it. Same pins. Way. That was that was so good. Pins. Speaking of pins, board toba. There you go. There's a segue. Okay. I've just done it. Right, so um this is the With segment of the show thread. where Craig has to be quiet for a moment. Oh god. Um <laughs> Board Toba twenty 20- 2024 is the now you're gonna to have to fill in the blanks fourth year third year fourth year fourth year of board toba and so i felt it would only be fitting to ask you a few questions about board toba okay are you ready yes okay. dum, duh, duh, duh. first of all duh, duh. that's the anybody... mastermind theme okay. i'm in my big black chair okay. now how many questions do you get on mastermind 
some. However many Magnus wants to give. Oh, right. Well, I am Magnus, and I will make up a certain number of questions. All right, then. Because I have not prepared them in advance. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You've not prepared something for a podcast. Unlike no. me, I've prepared all these answers. Okay, so for those people who don't know, yep. what is Bored Tober? Yes, it is. That's not the answer to it. So this is where I have to practice <laughs> actually getting something out of a guess. Right. right, okay. <laughs> so could you tell us a little bit about Bored Tober, please? I love this um, performance you're putting on. Come on. Hello. Welcome to Get Into Games On Air, a podcast about board games <laughs> and the people who play them. Today, we have Craig. He's sitting next to us. <laughs> Sounds like I'm big brother. Craig came into the diary room. Uh, Boardtober is a community-driven hashtag that I started way back when. In 2021, when I started my Instagram account, I essentially, uh, we join in with Drawtober. And some of those fun things where people do a word and you have to draw a little picture every month. And I thought, hey, that would be a funny thing to do. Every day of the month. That's what I meant. That's what I said. That's because we had nothing better to do in 2020. If you think I said something different, that's in some We didn't have anything better to do. No, there was no reasons to leave the house. And there still isn't. Uh, So I thought it'd be fun to do it with board games. Why not? And I just did 31 days and I did it solely as a thing for me to do. And I was like, if anyone wants to take part, that'll be fun. Why not jump in? I'm doing this challenge. Ah, it'd be fun. Then everyone joined in, um, which was quite nice. It was a lot. It got really popular. And I did one because Halloween is my birthday. Um, would I do Boardtober if Halloween wasn't my birthday? I don't know. Uh, anyway. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Halloween would be cool. I'd like Halloween. Do you like October because it is your birthday. I like pumpkin spice. Um... <laughs> That sounded a bit like sinister. We all want sugar water. Um, oh, yeah, so I did that. And I did one giveaway because it was my birthday. And that was Drop Dead Fun Games, Murder on the Cards, which is a really cool game. And I won it. I won it in a giveaway. And then I said, let's do a giveaway for this. And then they said, yeah. So that was fun. That was the first year. And then the second. So I thought, this might have some legs. Let's see what happens the second year. This so, is what happens when a guest just starts running away with it. Because I just ask one question and you're just go, go, go. All right. Then I did another <laughs> year. Then a third. No, you're just supposed then to tell us this year. what it was. That is what it was. Right, there we That's go. The history then of don't it. say any more. Okay, you're going to say. Did you what? do a second year? <laughs> did you do a second year? Yes, in oh 2020. Did you tell us about the second year? <laughs> <laughs> well, in 2022, I did another 31 words and more people took part. <laughs> and I got a few more giveaways, which was quite nice. I did one a week. One a week. Oh, the days when it was one a week. Oh, I'm missing living the dream. Um, and that was fun. Okay, uh, please don't say anything else. All right. Did, did you do, you a, do a third year? <laughs> so then I did a third year. And in the third year, I did it. And it got more and more popular. And people were reaching out to me. Even more publishers were actually reaching out to me to do giveaways and such. So I did 17. Seven, oh, what it was like when there were only 17 giveaways. Um, but yeah, it was, again, community-driven. But 2023 was the first year that I did it where I didn't come up with the words. I um, uh, Board Grand Review UK, Nick, suggested, have you thought about asking people for their words, make it a bit more community-driven because everyone's enjoying it, everyone enjoys the photos, enjoys joining in. But if people actually submitted their own words, they'd feel, feel even more part of it and be more encouraged to take part because it's their own words. So I did that. I said, do you want to do words? And I put it up as a story. And I put it up as an Instagram story. Do you want to make words? And then people suggested words. Do you want to make and words? And the words came suggested again. And then people got angry because they missed the story because stories are not permanent. And through my own learning, I should have put it as a post. So I apologise to the 2023 people that got angry with me and probably blocked me and probably unfollowed they me back They didn't probably then. block you for that reason. I mean, come on. I don't know. There anyway, so many reasons. I apologise. This is <laughs> so. I feel like I've said something on people to no. I feel like this is my time now to apologise. This is confessions with get into games. Yeah, <laughs> not confessions. The podcast. This is a different kind of thing. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, not that. Not one, that no. one. That one's ending soon, and that's Nothing made me really sad. That. Really sad. We don't um, want to get sued. No, but also it's fine. Time delay. It won't, okay, it won't be awake. Fine. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, apologies. Anyway, that okay, happened. 2023 was fun and it was good. Now we reach 2024. <sighs> yeah. And I presume that it's going again now. It is because we're 13 days in, so <laughs> I, I'm assuming it is going again because everyone... How has it morphed from <clears throat> way back when in 2021 to now in 2024? So now I um, uh, have anxiety attacks and panic attacks in September um, just because it's too busy and life is too busy. Uh, so every day now, this October, I have about... 41 prizes to give away i have a giveaway every day and as we get closer to the end of the month i'm soon realizing that i'm going to have multiple giveaways uh to, to, during the days to give away stuff and board games which is good and for board the, games adjacent uh for the community, stuff right? which is good for the community because it is a, it's a nice stuff. way to give back like people are supportive those people who unfollowed me and hated me in 2023 They're i posted a story again. i posted a post for it they must love me again they must be following me again hopefully surely maybe i suggested um, a word this year you suggested a word you suggested the, the word last year word and it was the first word. October twenty. But it was fun. And it was desecrate. And I originally uh, typoed it because I was tired when I made the thing. And then what I had to you, put, put, put it out again. I put desecrate, just a crate, not just a crate. Yeah. A different word. Apparently it does something. It does mean something. So man. Anyway, there were, very, there were loads of desecrate posts. There was, there was, all there was there's been, there's been hundreds of posts in 13 days. There's, it, again, this year I've also... I've gone against the will. I've given into peer pressure and I've even created a board Toba chat group on Instagram because Instagram decides that hashtags are the worst. Um, so now there's a group, there's a chat and I'm, there's millions, too many chats, but I gave in bow to peer pressure and created a chat as you do, as you do. Uh, so everyone can share their posts in that chat, talk Which about they whatever they want. Um, it's also quite a nice way for me ever to be able to go. Here's a giveaway. If you've missed it. So, so yeah. how do you manage all of the giveaways? I don't. I don't manage he it. He does. He does. I have a notes app mm. and I have all the giveaways. Um, no, yeah, I... How I, does it work then? So the giveaway, you know, there was a giveaway on the 1st of October. It was actually, actually a, giveaway a giveaway on, on the 30th, 30th, of 30th of September. 30th of September. Yeah, yes. We haven't had 30th of October. No. That'd be crazy. Otherwise we're in a reverse So. World. You post the giveaway, yes. and then how long do people have to you know, enter the giveaway? Roughly two weeks. A giveaway, it'll be open for about two weeks, unless a publisher specifically wants it for one week or longer or whatever. Uh, but generally speaking, they're going to be open for two weeks. It also gives me a bit of time uh, to get all the entries in, gives more people time to enter. Uh, again, they're getting buried because there's a, a giveaway every day. Um, but... Once you're entered, uh, you'll all go into a magical spinny wheelie thing, um, which I will do on an Instagram live and I will bulk them up. So after the end of in two weeks time, I will do. Uh, well, it's been two weeks from the 30th. Uh, yeah, but it's the first one closes today, actually. Oh. So the arcs one closes today. So next by the end of next week, that'll be. Um, there'll be a big bundle of giveaways to give, and I will just do loads of them in one live oh, on Instagram, and then I'll so do they the next lot. Watch out for that. Though. They should watch out for that with their eyes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, there is. There is. There is. What? No, there is. They oh, need to yes, up, yes. There is. Watch it with your ears and listen to they it with could your be eyes. Watching and they might not see That's their it. name come up. They should and they watch need to it. Listen with their ears. Too. Watch with their ears. Listen with their eyes. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, um, can you give any spoilers as to who's won? Giveaways come no. Oh, okay. As to giveaways coming up in the near future, um, you know, for them to keep their eyes peeled. There is. There is a fantastic uh, card game uh, called Quick Stop um, that is coming up. There's two copies of that being given away. Mm-hmm. There's some great giveaways with Kienda. There's some great giveaways that we can with. Show it on there. there is like ooh, Quickstop. quick stop. There's some great giveaways from Cosmos. There's another Hachette giveaway coming up. Uh, there are. There's quite a few. There's quite a few interesting giveaways coming your way. So keep an eye out for them. Shall we segue into a game of Quick Stop? Yeah. Quick Stop. Yep. Sure. 
Okay, so Quick Stop is a fast and hilarious game where you are dealt letters of the alphabet and on the reverse side of the letters of the alphabet there are also um, statements like um, it or it's always fun to go there you can't walk there in a sandwich something that everyone loves and the idea is that you are to shout out your answer um, as quickly as possible in order to score your card over everybody else and you're trying to get rid of all your cards so you don't end up with any left in your hands yes so it goes something like this okay it tastes weird Leopards. Leopards? Mmm. When are you eating leopards? They would taste weird if you licked them. Okay. <laughs> it's soft. Octopus. Are they? They if you touch them. Okay. At a campsite. Gates. Oh, a gate. Okay, I'll give you that one. Um, it smells good. Octopus. Octopus don't smell good. They could do. Onions. Oh, yeah, they smell good when they're Onions cooking. when they're cooking. Mm-hmm. You'd do it if you won the lottery. Sunbathe, because I'd be on holiday. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Difficult when you get those letters out. So, usually you'd have a handful of letters and you would pick which one you yeah, so to I throw had, down. Yeah. However. So I had like. Hopefully you were listening because if you were, you would know those letters that Craig just used spell out a word. What? What is the word for, Craig? Oh my gosh, the word for? What is the word for? Well, hello, listener. Would you like to be in fashionable style at games night? Would you like to look the best at the party? Well, have I got the offer for you. Our friends at Shirts and Merch are giving away not one, not two, but three of their fantastic shirts to three lucky winners of that. That might not quite be clear. It's one shirt for to three people but that's three shirts in total Mm -hmm. so if you are in want to be in with getting multiple entries this giveaway will be coming live onto instagram with this very podcast however if you can tell me what i just spelt out with those cards earlier the first letter of all of those words you will get 10 bonus entries into the giveaway so If you can spell out the word that I made, then you will get 10 extra entries into the giveaway for shirts and merch for Boardtober 2024. And they are, I would say, the best t-shirts, the best board game t-shirts that we have come across. Absolutely. They are, you know, you you can put them in the wash multiple times and they still remain exactly as they were when you passed. They don't fade. They're super comfy, super soft. Um, it almost feels like you're not wearing anything at all. No, no, you definitely are wearing something. But it feels so. But people don't so want soft. to think of you not wearing anything. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know. Think they do. I, I'm not sure. I think that might be. I'm a, not sure. Unlike him, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I am definitely. That can be on the next. Apologies from Craig. <laughs> I feel like we're at an AGM. It was like, has anyone got any apologies? Yeah, me again. Sorry. I, you said, goofed. I did a big goof. But yeah, shirts and merch do some of the most fantastic, comfortable merchandise. Look, I'm wearing one. You can't see that, listener world, but I'm wearing my shirts and merch hoodie. They do hoodies. I they shall do... cover mine up because I'm not. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm wearing a t shirt under this as well, which is a shirts and merch t shirt. It's a maple. But we've had jumpers before that have faded. We have had jumpers and before. That's I can why confirm we have to get that. new jumpers. Um, but these that live ones on the have been washed multiple times. We have. I've washed it twice. Um, no, you've washed it more than <laughs> And they are still um, as good as, as good. ever. Yeah, no fading, no nothing, and super so comfy and warm. Hood. And they have hoods. The hoodies have hoods, and the hoods are really nice are and comfy really too. Nice. But yes, uh, the t-shirts are what are being uh, given away on uh, shirts and merch on the uh, Bortober shirts and merch 
giveaway, which is very, very exciting. So you may have to go back and listen to the. You might have to go back and listen to that again. Or maybe you were paying attention and you know. Or maybe you were paying attention and you know what I said. Because I don't. Anyway, so Boardtober is quite a lot of work for you. It is quite a lot of work, but it's worth it. It's good fun. And it goes into no post November. Um, So. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of posts, it's a lot of content, it's a lot of creativity, and that's the whole thing. I just love being able to see like the community come together, board gamers coming together, doing the same thing, taking photographs, making reels of the- words that are uh, with board game adjacent photos with a the theme. It's not a case of um, this is a board game that has that specific theme. This is a board game that is that specific word. The word is T. Okay, I'll get my tea games out um, and I'll take photographs of the tea game. It's not. It can be anything. So if the word today was, well, today's word was harvest, it could be a picture of a pumpkin with a meeple on it. It could be, I did Star Wars today. Like it, I did, it, when I did Moon, I did the Aurora Borealis. Yeah. We were very lucky to see. Well, that was true. Yeah. So there was, there's so much you can do with the I, I think that... Um... People seem to get more creative in Boardtober. Like they, I don't know. It seems like they put more effort in. Yeah, it just yeah. And I mean, that's that goes to show that how creative and amazing the community is, um, and how nice um, some, most, all uh, of the people in the community um, are. Joined together with some of the other community we've, hashtags. Yeah, we've uh, collaborated with other community hashtags because there's so many now. We've got um, Mystery Monday, which is oh, run really? by Just Three Meeple. He um, runs a great uh, challenge, essentially. It will be a word, and then you'll show off a game essentially around that word, but the component is obscured somehow or it's just a random component. And you have to guess what the what it is. Is how we roll, how we roll oh, when, how we roll. Ha, ra, ra, ra. sorry, I've been drinking tea. <laughs> how we roll Wednesday from Bury Board Games. Tom. It's um, a, a, a challenge dice. all about dice. So it's a word and show, show off, show, show us your D. Um, so yeah, showing dice off with specific words. We're joined with a thematic Thursday from the Board Game Overlord. So we're running, um, the latter half of October with that pod though with that um hashtag there are yeah there's there's loads of stuff there's um boards and books which is on the 15th which is another hashtag created by gaming overboard and blended family gamers and myself uh which is about collaborating books and board games together um that word's chill that that hashtag runs on the 15th of every single month so it's a once a month Mm. thing there's boards and brews um which you can collaborate there we haven't exactly gone word for word but you can collaborate with anything topic tuesday collaborate there's a lot of community hashtags and there's a lot of me taking over instagram and i apologize for that i probably will have to write a formal apology on craig's apology next week craig's confessionals that'll be the next episode (laughs) of the podcast it'll just be me apologizing to everyone yeah i like that idea i want to do get into games on air the confessions and then people just yeah and people just come on and saying i hate Catan, and me going that's fine okay Uh, chill so yeah, so a lot of work, but um, you know, bringing the community together, yeah, and it's good fun, and it culminates at the end of October with your birthday, yes, and you are twenty one. Yep. Too old. I'll be 21 years old on Halloween this Four year. Zero. 20, 21. 20, 20, 20, 20, I'll be 21 years old. 40. 22. How did you get to 40? How 20, did you survive? I'll get be to 40. I'll be. I mean, I'll be no. 23 years old. 23. Um, I was thinking today, it's really annoying, actually. You know when you go to Tesco's and you buy beer? Like, and you I don't press, know where you're going with this. And you press the button, and, and, they, and then the person comes over to check, like, ID and stuff like yeah. that, and he hits the button that just says, clearly over 25. <laughs> clearly. Is that what happened to you? It's just rude. I just, like, they don't have the, like... They don't even bother they, asking you. They don't even look at me. They just go, yeah. Grey hair, like, grey beard, no, yeah. That's not that, the highlights, the grey highlights I put in. I don't just clearly anyway. I don't know. Old forty, rude twenty three. So that that makes sense. If you had forty giveaways, that is why because you're forty. Yeah. Right? yeah. Then why have I got more than that? Well, just forget the one on the end. Okay, sure. I'll just bulk it. You all could in count there. the forty that there were is in a, October. There is a very special giveaway. 
a very special giveaway for uh, day 31. Is it? Um, and Do I even know about this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be good. I don't think I do know. Yeah, you do. Okay, fair enough. So, um, that is Boardtober. Do you have anything else to say about Boardtober? Boardtober 2024 is different to Boardtober. Boardtober is a uh, an event about skateboards. Oh. Do you follow that hashtag? You get lots of... Uh, no, surfboards. Surfboards. But that was made in 2019, so I've... It's, it's mine now. I don't know. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. Do. There might be a Boardtober 2025. I don't know yet. I mean... Watch this way. If there's enough want for another one. Yeah. Like... Subscribe and let us share, know. If share, you want like, and subscribe. Twenty twenty five. If you would like to make it to twenty twenty five, yeah, let me know. Um, but before we, what, what, what are we going to talk about? Spooky games? Yeah, but we haven't got there. Yeah, I thought that was the end. No, I was just wrapping up. The I board thought I segued. I did a, such a good segue. No. Ah. See, I'm running the show. All right. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> Yes, that's Boardtober. Thanks for joining. Everyone should join. So, Follow me along on Get Into uh, get Games on Instagram. And it's never too late to join in. Whether you join in for the last week, the last few days, it is never too late to have some fun. And why not enter a giveaway and see if you might win something? The other the great thing is you, you will see and find so many more accounts that you do not follow that create such incredible, incredible photos, incredible content. And that's the whole thing. If you're finding new people and you're clicking that follow button, then Boardtober has worked. Mm-hmm. You have, we've created a community around around our hobby, which is what it's all about at the end of the day. Anyway, so mm-hmm. a lot of the posts that people are using for the board Toba post, because a lot of the words are related to scary, a spooky, spooky yeah. shenanigans. Mm-hmm. So we thought, here's the segue. Oh, nice. We would discuss our top three spooky. Spooktacular games. Spooktacular games. And speaking of spooktacular games, did you know there's a whole library of spooktacular games with Rent, Shuffle and Roll? Rentshuffleandroll.co.uk. Use code GITG50 and celebrate Halloween and spooky season in the style by renting your own spooky games from the spooky place that is otherwise known as Spooky get Rent, Shuffle and Roll. Su- get yourself a subscription for Craig's birthday for yourself. Dude, that would be really good, actually. If you use GITG50 to get that first month for free, before the end of October, happy birthday. Thank you so much. So, top threes? Top threes. You want to go first? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I haven't planned this. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to get one of the games out of the way because it's, okay. like, pretty obvious. Yeah. Okay. So... And I don't want it to be like the last thing I say because otherwise every episode of the podcast is going to end with this being number one. That's true. It's Kuna Horror, isn't so it? So we're not doing this in order. But a really good spooktacular game is Blood on the Clock Tower. Whoa, I've never heard of that. What is that game? I've never mentioned it before. What is what is Blood on the Clock Tower? Um, so it is a social deduction game where you are given a character. What? You are either a good character or an evil character. And the job of the good guys is to find the evil players. And, the, good, and the job of the evil players is to kill all the good players. Um, and it involves chatting and discussing and sharing information uh, with your group and trying to logic out what is going on in the game and i absolutely love it and it is probably the best spooktacular game i can think of but you've probably heard me talk about it way too much so i'm not going to mention it anymore okay what about you i want to mention horrified Mm. horrified is a fantastic cooperative game um the horrified that we have the classic monster movies from the classic Classic monsters from the classic monster movies. Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy, the werewolf, uh, Wolfman and um, the Invisible Man. Uh, it's so good. It's such a fun game with lots of, like, you can you can vary the difficulty by having one monster, two monsters. You can change the monster that you're playing against, so you're always doing something different. Um, the design of it's so good. It's like, it has one of the best design features that ha- there, there is in any board game. Um the Invisible Man, the colour of the plastic is the same colour as the board. So when you put the mini on the board, he blends in and turns mm-hmm. invisible on the board. 
that one idea is incredible and yeah for me that just it's just amazing there are other so are there just two versions or are there three there's, versions there's oh, three versions. there's three now there's american monsters mm-hmm. and there's uh, greek myths oh, yeah. there is a fourth one coming out which is cthulhu and it's like that kind of thing but this new one that's coming out for the first time ever it can be crossed over with another copy i think it can only be crossed with the myth one the the greek gods one um the greek myth one sorry um they can mi- they can mix together because they've they've got similar things which which is a shame that you can't use the american monsters on the classic board mm-hmm. so you can't have dracula and the some kind of american monster situation going down yeah that, that is a bit of a shame that you can't mix them um and then play them on different boards but this new version mixes at least with the with the the, the late the last two mixed together quite nicely which is nice okay um another game that isn't really spooky but it has like maybe some characters of that nature mm-hmm. um that i would always choose to play is king of tokyo yeah so you've got um x smash tree you've got the gigasaur and the king kongs and the yeah boogie woogie cyber bunnies and, and yeah the pumpkin the pumpkin king yeah. yeah so there's a lot of halloween characters as well it's just monsters it's kaiju battles yeah but it's always good fun and um it's great with a group of people or just at two or three um we played most recently with the costume cards which added another little yeah, um layer. little twist um the dice We've got green and orange. Yeah, we've got the Halloween dice because of the Halloween expansion. So the orange dice are perfect for Halloween. And um, doing a big spooky. Mm. Um, I My next one will be Hit Z Road. Hit Z Road is a really fun dice chucking game uh, where you are trying to escape a zombie horde, really. Uh, you have these cards. And what, what I really like about the cards are they're, they're like playing cards on the back. And it's like how someone's... The game is essentially a game that someone's made during a zombie holocaust yeah. from another game. So they've got the old game hit the road and they've stuck on pictures of zombies and they're using like mil- uh, like bottle, beer bottle tops as like counters and stuff like that. And it's all just stuck together and they've got like deck of cards and they've got like blood spatter on the back of the deck of cards. Mm. And there's, there's cards like ticket to ride cards and Dixit cards and stuff like that in the box that have been used that people have found while the zombie holocaust is going on. And, and you're rolling dice. You're trying to, defeat the zombies and get through this these stages of the game as you're trying to escape the, the zombie onslaught um really fun really good game i just i i was gonna say uh, i was sure i knew what my next one was and then two more just popped into my head so i'm just gonna i'm gonna say the two more that came into my shut them out at the same time yeah um because they're sort of not the same but similar vein so murder on the cards yep. and psycho killer okay yeah um both great card games around the spooky uh slasher type yeah psycho killer is theme. like psycho killer's got that kind of yeah literally you're living a slasher for movie um keep but, an eye on that one for board toba because they've got a, they've got some expansions new expansions coming out and interestingly something also might be happening but they're both really good like sort of party-esque games that you can play yeah with quick lots of people quick it's like a it's like a Almost an exploding kittens, but fun. Uh, if you don't say the the one I was thinking of, then I'll say it as an honourable mention. My final choice is a current favourite of mine um, that I will play at any chance given. And I need to play it at any chance given because I need to reduce the cost per play. Oh, and that no, is Return to the Dark Tower. Return to the Dark Tower is not only spooky because it's got a dirty great tower that glows red and makes noises. You can pick different monsters, your co-op. So you do feel that kind of teamwork that you'd get from like a horror film or something like that. You're working together to defeat defeat big bad monsters that are just going to end you. Um, It's such a good game. It's so thematic. It's just... Oh, I just can't get enough of it. And the more you play it, the more... The way you can add extra characters fight different monsters, have different storylines that you have to go through. The way the app works, integrates with the game. It's, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant game. So there's two that... Did you think I was going to say boo? Yes, I thought you were going to say boo. 
And then Nemesis just popped into my yes. head as well. Yeah, so Nemesis so, and Nemesis and like uh, uh, and Return to Dark Tower have got that kind of that, so many good games. Yeah, of we used to find it difficult to find a Halloween themed game. Yeah, but now we have we've got quite a lot. Uh, we've collected quite a few, but um, more and more coming out. But I think there's no such thing as a scary game. I think that's the thing. <gasps> I don't atmosphere. Atmosphere. Um, okay, scrub the rest. Atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> atmosphere. So atmosphere was something that I had when I was like ten on VHS. On now, VHS, who, now who's old? You used to put old person the VHS into the television. <laughs> well, obviously you didn't put it into the television. You put it, you put in, the it in the VHS player. player, and this scary man came onto the. TV. I'm the gatekeeper. Yeah, exactly. And now I still have nightmares. And he used to tell you Maggots. what you could do in the game. And there was a clock that counted down and you had to do it all within the hour. And that you were trying to find, I don't know, keys to, you know, unlock whatever it was. And every so often you'd jump on the screen. Ha, maggots, and it's what like, are you if doing? it's your turn, you must be banished or something. Do, do the lambada. Do, that, do, do, do. that, when you are 10, is a pretty scary game. And yeah. then we got the... The DVD version. We yeah. got the atmosphere Khufu. Khufu's mummy, which is like a casino in the pyramids, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, then they've upgraded it again. It's now an app, obviously. So I would app. say that is a scary game for a child. It's so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some. There's plenty of cool. Game. There's plenty of good. Like, yeah, there's so many good Halloweeny games. You've got like Ticket to Ride Ghost Trains, and you've got your Betrayal on House on Hill, and your Paranormal Detectives, and your mysteriums and all of those there are so many good halloweeny spooky season games um there's that the night cage is one that i've always really wanted but you have to play that in the dark because it's about you are a can a candle slowly going out as you're going through looks really good fun and then you want to play what was that hide and seek game that's uh murder in the uh werewolf in the dark mm. that's coming soon which is werewolf. just werewolf it's among us the board game but you play it <coughs> in your house. In yeah, house. in your house or in a forest. That sounds pretty scary. It's so good. And when you find someone's been dead, they come along and you have to shout, I found someone. And then you have like a minute to talk and execute someone. And when they're executed, they become a ghost. And the ghost has no allegiance to the bad team or the good team. But they also have their own secret power. Mm. So much fun. Cannot wait to try that one day. Um, that's something that will happen. And it's okay. made by the people who make two rooms and one a boom. So we were doing our top three, and then we sort of launched into more games. Yes. So can you give me a board game menu? Yep. Of a horror theme horror for themed. Halloween. Horror theme. So I would start with Doctor Doctor because it's terrible. Um, I, then I play Villainous because it's awful, uh, and then I play <coughs> Seven Wonders Jewel to finish off because it's also trash. So that's the most horrific board game menu I could think of. Wow. Oh, you wanted actual horror? Game. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Psycho Killer <coughs> as a starter, um, as a main, Return to the Dark Tower. Um, and then to finish off, something light. We've got more people. We've got too many people to be playing the boops. So my uh, finisher for that would be a Stone Cold Stunner of a game. Uh, Outrun the Bear. That's scary. It's got bear on it. Okay. Spooky yeah. bear. <laughs> I would go with a mur- werewolf, murder like on that. the cards, yeah, blood on the clock tower, yeah, and then maybe it's just a long marathon. Return to the dark tower, yeah, just gonna, yeah, Nemesis. Return to build. the dark tower, then blood on the clock tower. Although that doesn't work <laughs> because you need a lot of people. So that supposes that a few people came, then the rest of the people came. Then you got rid of all the people, yeah. and then you just played a like four, five, six player game. Yeah, of... yeah. So yeah. Return to the Dark Tower is four player. Nemesis is six player. So you have a main, and then two of them go home. Yeah, <coughs> they all bugger can... off, and then we can play Return yeah. to the Dark Tower. Okay. Exactly, Fine. I like it. That's that then. Fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You for... said it was going to be a shorter episode. It's not really. It is. It's forty nine ish minutes. <laughs> Uh, that's how short it is. Um, anyway, thank you so much for listening to this episode 32 for October 2024. Uh, remember, that's top secret secret word based on these letters on this cards this way around. That's you can't see. It's a good thing for an audio, still can't see it, audio, so no, audio medium. You do have to rewind. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so remember those uh, words and letters, and then you'll be entered into a fantastic. Did you say they have to <coughs> DM it to messaging. me, private me? Don't private... put it in the post because if you spoil it for everybody else, nobody gets. Don't put it on the post because at, currently at Royal Mail at the moment, I don't know whether you get it. Slow. Price of a stamp. It's going to cost a lot. Nah. So, uh, thank you all so much for listening to this episode. Please head to wrenchshuffleandroll.co.uk. Please head to tinkertowngains.com because we mentioned them earlier and they're phenomenal. Shirts and merch. Um, go to shirtsandmerch.com. If you don't win the giveaway, if you don't give then you can away, just buy one. Just buy one. Mm-hmm. Just treat yourself. You deserve a treat. I, I, Because it's Craig's birthday, you deserve to have a treat. Okay? You're doing, you're doing, it's like one of those and ASMR. And you can say to Craig, I bought this <coughs> t-shirt for myself. Because it's your birthday. I think it's like one Just of those weird for ASMR things you get on Instagram. Hey, you're doing really well. You deserve that shirt from Shirts and Merch. Go treat yourself. Don't worry about it. Everything will be okay. They've got cool logos. They've got cool logos. Like ours. This one says get into you games. You can't get out also. You might be able to get to ours if you really ask. If you ask me first, I can see what I can do for you. <laughs> But you deserve it. Treat yourself. Head to shirts and merch. They're not just any you shirts. Do the nail thing on They're them. merch and shirts. Merch and shirts. It's like M and S. M and S. Merch and shirts. It's a bit. Yeah. And um, hold on. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That's gonna be for real. My uh, God, that's uh, crazy. Doing something weird. I was not. No, you've mm, even broken the. I was not. No, it was already broken. We already dropped the mic. Oh no. Anyway, thanks for listening, viewing, coming, watching. He's forty-two. Twenty-three years old. Forty. Twenty-three 40. years old. Anyway, and remember to, to get into board before you die because you're forty soon. Get into wills before you die because you're 40 soon. And also buy a Ouija board because then even if you're dead, you can still come back and say hi. And you can speak to Craig. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Remember, buy yourself a Ouija board so you can speak to me when I'm dead. <laughs> that's what everyone wants to do, Craig. Thanks for listening. <laughs> and thanks for... I, I would do thanks for listening, but really I'm just going to get a little triangle to go to T. H A N K S F O R oh. listening because that would just take too much longer than it needed. Too much longer. See, too even words longer. have fallen out. Anyway, of my, catch us my on Meeple brain. to Meeple podcast where check you'll out, find out why I was apologising for. Check out hour. Meeple to Meeple unless you're one of those if terrible you, guests. If you have any confessions, uh, you know, let us know. Just drop us a line. Menus, confessions. I'll take anything right now. Yeah, Phone numbers. Whatever. Business details, bank details. <laughs> <coughs> um, Nobody listens to this part. They've all switched off. Everyone's right listening to this part. Well, if they listen to this part, and I'm going to say the word. No, don't say the word. No, I'm going to say a different word. I'm going to say. Oh. Oh, because we used. Didgeridoo. Uh, we said. Ah, oh, oh, didgeridoo. So there is a giveaway for currently live for. Ezra and Ezra and Nimea from Garfield Games. Do not use didgeridoo. That's culturally inappropriate. Um, what? Is there Australian or New Zealandish? Yeah, didgeridoo. If you no, don't do that. No. Um, for Garfield Games is um, if you can write the word pigeon, pigeon on that post on that giveaway post. If you write the word pigeon, I'll give you two bonus entries to that giveaway. Anyway. Thanks very much for listening. We've been getting to games. You've been average. What? No, that's rude. Yeah, that is rude. You've been you've great. you've been great. We've been average. We've been amazing. We've been fucking brilliant. <laughs> you just swore. Oh that's my really bad. Jesus Christ! That's gonna ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! Do you know how we don't get monetized and don't get any money for this podcast? We're definitely not going to get any money now because oh, I just said. Just I just said really fuck. Bo- oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Bollock. Oh, Fanny. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, I really should click stop before this gets worse. Oh, I'd hate... if, you can, if you can, count up how many times Craig <laughs> made an... a boo boo. A boo boo. Then 
write how many times it was on the obsession. Next, next obsession, obsession. Next week, uh, we're going to um, podcast on Tuesday, just so I can say, see you next Tuesday. Oh, Craig! Now you've added another one, so that if they just wrote in the obsession post how many times, (laughs) then they weren't expecting. I hope you're keeping up to date with this. Stop. Right, Lots um, of extra giveaways. And remind us if we've forgotten. Fuck I bet no one... No, stop oh, it! Oh! Piss. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get cancelled. We're going to get cancelled. Yeah, someone's going to come after us and be like, oh my gosh, I can't one believe... One day our children might listen to this. I can't believe you're anti-urine. You. My, my parents might listen to this. Your parents are not listening to this. My parents don't even know I do this, I don't think. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't know. No their, one knows. Not in their stratus. No one knows. No one knows. Well, some people do. Some listen. people, they listen, don't they? Right, anyway, I'm really sorry if you had that on in the car with yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, with shit. You. Yeah, children. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I forgot children exist. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, dear. Oh. Right, anyway, quickly. Quickly. Because... What we, we got? Need to... I mean, it's four minutes, really. Until no, it's please don't out. swear for no. four minutes. No, I'm not right. going to swear for. F- what kind of moron do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> gee whiz, golly gee willikers! You think I'm some Golden kind of Bennett. dickhead? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Please switch it off. I've made. Don't think I could do I've, much more. I've made really bad mistakes. Oh, and there was me confessing to something I felt was I had misrepresented yeah. people, and yeah. there you are swearing. Yeah, swearing right at the end, right at the death knell of the podcast. That that could be the oh, death knell of the podcast. Spotify will be like, no, sorry, can't yeah. upload this. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Swearing. He said a bad word. That man with the beard. And his wife was appalled. Oh, and she was laughing. She was laughing. You'll be the worst one because you're like, oh, my God, that's so immature, laughing at my big curse words that I didn't even mean to say. Of course they you just, didn't. It's like a, just Freudian, out, it's yeah. a Freudian slip, you know? Mm. Mm. Right. Right. Anyway, turn it off now. All right. People want to go to bed. You go to bed. That's a good idea. Remember to get into bed. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's a different no, podcast. I didn't mean to say with me. <laughs> Well, you did say about getting naked earlier. Well, so. well, maybe they've got a... Was that on this podcast? Or was that on a different podcast? No, this was this one. I mentioned nudity on this podcast. Yeah, you said about how shirts and match t-shirts are like you're not oh, wearing anything. Oh, nudity. That's where it went wrong. It went wrong on the nudity part of the yeah, podcast. Yeah, exactly. So this is not one for the okay. young'uns. I don't even think I've pressed record. Hello and welcome to Get Into Games On Air, a podcast about board games and the people who fuck... Oh! What? <laughs> See you later, everyone. Bye. It's been fun. Get into games. Get, oh, yeah. Remember to get into games. That's how we end these things, don't we? Gee whiz.